What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Wavy Grab. We're back here. Here I go. Here to do a tutorial on how to stream through your Xbox One without a capture card to your laptop through OBS Streamlabs OBS onto Mixer or Twitch or whatever. First thing you want to do is once you get into Streamlabs OBS, sign in, log in through whatever. I don't know, broadcast you're going to use. Twitcher, YouTube, Mixer. I said Twitcher. Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer. They're all got the same concept. Once you log in, I'm pretty sure they bring over. Once you connect it and authorize it, they bring over your stream key and put it in there so you don't have to copy and paste it like regular OBS. But anyway, when once you get this far and you log back in, you'll have basically a these would be empty. You're not going to have none of these. Go to new. You're going to have a new scene. Say it's going to just be any scene because you got to have one. Over here is my actually webcam and then my display so you can see what I'm doing. Now what I do is do this. I log into my get my Xbox app. Let me stop streaming. Go to Xbox. This would be as soon as you click on Xbox. This is the screen you're going to see. This is the screen you're going to see. What you want to do is hit this gr little connection bu button, take you to a different screen. Now playing, obviously I'm home. You can't see it yet, but I'm home on my Xbox. Click stream. They got test stream. More and more is, you know, stuff you're not going to want to do. Bring you into a loophole, but hit stream. It's kind of going to full screen on itself. What you want to do is hit continue because there are no controllers attached, blah, blah, blah. Once you get this far, there's going to be, you have, go all the way to the top, like the top of the bar, you'll see an Xbox bar drop. It'll say Xbox in white. Go all the way to the right as if you're going to exit out, but don't exit out and don't minimize it. Click the two little arrows that are pointing at each other on a diagonally angle. Click that. It'll bring it down. Then you could just leave it there. Click back on OBS like so. Now you're back here. Now what you want to do, what you want to do is once you get this far, pretty much golden, come back into Streamlabs, go to Source. Once you're in Source, add a game capture. Game capture. You want to add that. You won't have a existing one. That's my existing one. Just go to Add New. And then another screen is going to pop up. Settings for game capture. Go to, and then mode will be your first thing. Capture any full screen application. Switch that to capture specific window. Then the next window you click on is the Xbox app, EXE Xbox. It's going to pop up. Once you get that, don't touch nothing else. Hit done. Now, as you can see, your Xbox app is here. It's up there. You don't got to worry about it. And for the people that didn't see it before, if you couldn't see it, let me move this out the way. As you can see, this is the button I'm talking about. Right here. That's the button I'm talking about. Once you get into full screen, click that. Don't click it. Once you click it once, that's all you got to do. But I don't know if you could have seen it. I'm showing it to you now. But once you get that going... You don't want to kind of don't touch that window because if you make this Xbox app smaller, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna you'll see it's gonna do it on OBS. See how little it got. So you kind of just want to make sure it's maxed out this way. How I do it, so I just go all the way over until I don't see no more blacks. Until I see the black on the right, the void. Then you come back. You're good. Come back and then you then you can. Go ahead and re reposition or what say you, whatever you want to do. But then you're ready to stream. Just when you want to stream, don't forget to hit this go live button down here. You should be all good to go. And yeah, after that, don't need to know that, of course. After that, that's all you really have to get done. Just make sure when you, when you do the live, when you hit go live, you change the name, the game. Sometimes you'll get a little error. 
you can either go into the website itself again go into the website itself change the name change the game website of the broadcast so if you're going to mixer go to mixer.com go to your broadcast page customize then if not you can just go live and then you'll be live that's a quick uh, tutorial on how to stream to your Xbox one to your Windows Xbox app on your PC or laptop and then through OBS without a capture card pretty easy simple it's pocket friendly too man them game capture cards are a lot of money yeah but that's pretty much it here if you like the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button like and hit the notification bell too for more videos like this be doing a lot of how to's people asking me how do I do this and that show you have a good one everybody